Hey everyone, welcome to another episode. Today we'll be playing Star Wars Galactic Battlegrounds. And we'll be starting with the first of eight campaigns contained within this game. Uh, it is Atachetic's campaign, uh, which just so happens to be the basic training for the game. Tutorial missions. So today we'll be starting off with moving and attacking, and we'll work through them uh, as we build this series. So, sit back, and I hope you guys enjoy. Transmission 0112TK. Location, Alaris Prime. Encoded to Jedi Council. Qui-Gon Jinn transmitting. An unexplored world is a hostile world. I must help the Wookiee leader Atichitok to learn the lay of the land. Only then can we find an appropriate place to settle. End transmission. We need to explore this new world. Follow Qui-Gon Jinn's instructions to find the camp of Chewbacca's father, Atichitok. Click on intelligence and reconnaissance buttons below for more information. So, in intelligence, we have listened carefully to Qui-Gon Jinn's instructions. If you get sidetracked, check midway down the stream for a reminder of what to do next. Think like a wicked, be wary, but not afraid. Oh, advanced tips. Keep checking this section for advanced gameplay tips as you continue learning the campaign recognizer. If you want to advance to Before we unload workers and equipment, Chewbacca and his friend Shoran need to scout the area. Shoran has moved on ahead, but don't worry. He left markers so we could find him in this wilderness. Now move ahead to the first marker by right-clicking near it. Come on, Chewie. Let's go. Good. I see another marker now. Let's go there. Click on Chewbacca, <laughs> then right-click near the next marker. Ah, do you see it? There's the next marker. In order to get to it, we'll have to travel through the black area. Right-click on the next marker. Let's keep going, let's keep going. Come on, Chewie. <laughs> the black area represents territory you haven't seen. It clears up as Chewbacca moves towards it. I suspect Shoran is nearby. Move towards the next marker. <laughs> Shoran says he has found an obstruction in the path. It could be dangerous. We should stick together. To explore as a group, click near the units and drag around them. Good. Now right-click near the marker to the north. I see the problem now. Scroll north by moving your mouse to the top of the screen. Click on that tall structure to select it. It looks like a malfunctioning power core. This world is supposed to be uncolonized. If someone else was here, what drove them away? No matter. It's a hazard. We should get rid of it. Scroll back downward to your group by moving your mouse to the bottom of the screen. Select your explorers by clicking near them and dragging a box around them. Now, scroll north to the power core again, but this time right-click on it to attack. Your units will advance across the map and attack the power core. This game is it may end up being a bit long-winded, and what I might do in some of the later missions, is I might just cut down some of some of it. So either it's a montage or removing it completely, um, just to hopefully like cut out any could be boring. As you can see, it's and Chewbacca taking out that. 
Excellent work, my friend. Chewbacca's father, Atichitok, awaits us to the north. I can see one of his markers ahead. Let us continue. It's so rude of him, not seeing, you know, word that there is a power quality. Keep following the markers until we find Atichitok. Looks like he's already staking a claim. Does it now? What's that? Atichitok smells trouble. Gundarks, they're attacking the camp! Don't worry. No match for Wookiee warriors. Click a warrior and right-click a Gundark to attack. Defeat them before they can tear down the camp. Excellent fighting, my friend. The Gundarks must have damaged that power core and driven off its owners. We won't be so easily scared away. I have located a malfunctioning power core. Destroyed by a Gundark, sir. You will deal with these Gundarks, Ul too. Find them, skin them, and bring the pelts to our Trandoshan friends. Yes, sir. Well, that was, uh... He has begun the journey of discovery that will ultimately transform him into a great leader. Give a Wookiee Bantha meat and he'll eat for a day. Teach a Wookiee to hunt Bantha and he'll eat for a lifetime. Gathering resources, including metal, food, nova crystals and carbon, is critical to this colony's survival. I will endeavor to help Atichitok and his son Chewbacca to gain this capability. Learn how to gather resources with Quavo and Jin's help. Gather 200 food, 100 carbon, 50 ore, and 50 nova crystals. Stay near the camp until Chewbacca arrives. You don't want your workers caught fighting Gundarks alone. Don't let workers stand idle. If they've stopped working, give them something else to do. Look in the lower right hand corner for objective, for the objectives button. So that's just this one here. This will tell you what you've accomplished and what you still need to do. Click on, objective, on the Objectives button to remind yourself of Objectives, Intelligence and Reconnaissance data. In terms of Reconnaissance, we know that a river cuts us off from the east and an impenetrable forest blocks our path to the west. Luckily, we needn't travel far to find the resources we need. The key to colonization is self-sufficiency. We'll begin gathering resources right away. We will need to gather 200 food, 100 carbon, 50 Nova Crystals, and 50 Ore. To begin, click one worker. <coughs> now, to begin gathering food from the Muja fruit bush, right-click on it. What's that? Is that this? That looks like a bush. Now look in the status area at the bottom of the screen. If you have a worker selected, you can see how much food the worker is holding. The worker will keep picking Muja fruit until he is carrying ten food. That's helpful. Then he will carry it to the command center and return to the Muja fruit bush for more. You can learn more by moving your mouse over any of the symbols on the bottom of the screen. You can also see a miniature map of your surrounding area. To remind yourself what your objectives are, click on the Objectives button on the far right side of your screen. Okay. Yep. When your objectives change, this button will flash to let you know. Cool, that's awesome to know. To gather food faster, select all your workers and send them to work by right-clicking on a fruit bush. Honestly, this game. 
can become a peaceful. You can monitor your current stockpiles of food above the minimap in the lower right corner of the screen. You can also monitor your carbon, nova crystal, and ore stockpiles. You've gathered 50 food, which is enough to create another worker. See that large building? That's your command center. Is it? Click on your command center. Then click the Create Worker button in the lower left corner of the screen. Oh, yeah. oh, right. Now watch the progress bar in the status area at the bottom of the screen. When the progress bar reaches 100%, your new worker will appear next to your command center. Another way to gather food is by shore fishing. Take your new worker and move him towards the river to the east. See those jumping fish? Select your worker and right-click on the fish. Your worker will start fishing and adding to your food stockpiles. You found ore. When processed, ore becomes durasteel, which is used to make buildings and defenses strong. You'll need 50 ore to continue. Okay. Uh, so I guess I could split the worker off. Chewbacca should be along any minute. Until then, keep your workers gathering resources. By now, you should have enough food to create another worker at your command center. Okay. That should be enough workers to get the job done. If any workers are idle, the idle worker button will flash below the minimap. Click on the button to jump to any workers who aren't pulling their weight. Okay. Here we go, we've got two there. Two fishing and one collecting ore at the moment. Which I think for now is, an, is probably the best way to divvy up our resource collection. So we've now got 110 ore, and got 20, sorry, 110 food and 20 ore, and then another 30 ore, and another 80 food. Keep in mind that your workers aren't trained warriors like Chewbacca. They can be vulnerable to attacks from Gundarks and the like. Oh, that's not good. When workers are in trouble, they can run to the command center for shelter. They can even shoot at invaders from the command center. Let's try a drill. Click on the command center. Okay. Now click on the Activate Alert Beacon button. Your workers will take shelter in the command center. Right. Excellent. With the command center selected, activate the alert beacon again to continue gathering resources. It's now safe to continue. Okay, that's useful. I should probably remember to use that. I might forget. But, you know. Got enough food. It's time to gather carbon. Carbon is used to create duroplast, which we use for building. Click on a worker, then click on a tree. The worker will attach an extractor ring to the tree and gather carbon from it. Cool, so now we've got carbon being gathered. We've still got workers gathering food because I figured that's kind of important. Ah, here comes Chewbacca. I sense trouble. Gundarks are approaching. Select your command center and activate the alert beacon to bring the workers inside. You've gathered enough ore for now.
can put your workers back to work now. <laughs> While your workers work, you should send Chewbacca exploring. It's always a good idea to venture beyond the homestead to map out the territory and search for more resources. Excellent. You found some Nova Crystals. These are a valuable commodity that is used as currency throughout the galaxy. You'll need 50 Nova Crystals to go any further. You can never have too much food. Like, come on. This is kind of the point that I'm, like, this is what I was talking about earlier about there being points where uh, the game kind of slows down a bit just due to like resource collection and like building up of your forces. Um, so I think these are the kind of stages that I would kind of montage through or like cut out entirely. It gets really quiet. There is one feature of the game that I really like and that I would like to mess around with, and that's the scenario editor. Um, this is this is something that I might create a series on, not necessarily like a tutorial, but see what you guys think like if any of you have played this before and you've got an idea maybe you can do, do something with that um, but as of now we've got our last lot of nova crystals you've collected here. resources like an expert frontiersman there you go. Are you sure you haven't colonized a planet before? Pretty sure. Oh. But, you know. Um, yeah. He learns quickly. I am most impressed. So that was the first two missions of Asychetic's campaign. Uh, moving and attacking and gathering resources. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Galactic Battlegrounds. And I'll see you in the next episode.